Thanks for joining us today on Playing the Field Local Edition. I'm Maria Soreo. Today you will meet the Varsity Boys basketball team here at Peninsula High School. Give me a little overview of the team this year. Yeah, our group this year is uh, a lot of experience coming back. We have four uh, three-year varsity guys. Um, and then the fifth guy that starts uh, is a two-year starter for us. So um, coming in, we knew that we had a lot of players that have played meaningful minutes and uh, we rely on that experience kind of to kind of get us through and persevere through tough situations and games and we've beaten the teams that we're supposed to we've lost to the teams maybe except for the Los Alamitos game that we should have lost um, I like to schedule a tough uh, non-league competition to prepare us for the for the Bay League so right now we're uh, we're happy but not satisfied that we have still have a lot of work to do preparing for our upcoming games You've got so much of a core that have known each other for a long time. Obviously, that chemistry is there. What's the biggest challenge in that, if there is one? I think it's a good, I mean, I don't think it's a challenge at all. It's a good thing. After practice, usually these guys sit down here and coffee talk for, you know, minutes at a time, and we have to drag them out. That's a great sign because they want to hang out with, together on and off the court. And I think that, trans, I think that translates into how we play. Um, we're at our best when we play unselfish basketball, and I think that stems from their close relationships off the court because they've, been, they've known each other since grade school. Yeah. Is it true that they can pretty much memorize each other's moves and what they're thinking at that point? They're very familiar with each other, and it's, it's, it's every advantage we can get, I'll take because, and I think that's one of them, is they've been playing with each other for so long, you're right, they kind of know where each other's going to be, what their strengths and weaknesses are, and they play off each other. Is fun to coach a team like that? To be honest, it's so much fun because we don't have to, I don't, we don't, as coaches, we don't have to get on them as much in terms of discipline. They kind of discipline themselves. You know, our two team captains, Troy uh, Simpkins and Caleb Hall, are the first ones to be able to talk to guys, you know, when they're fooling around. So uh, we rely on those two guys and then all the other seniors as well. It's just a great group, to be honest. There's nine seniors and um, just an incredible group of guys. Sounds like there's a lot of high expectations this year too. Well, of course, we always put high expectations on ourselves. That's why uh, tomorrow night we're playing at St. John Bosco, one of the top teams in the area. We do that just as a, just as a gauge to see where we are as a team because we know we can play well when we're doing the right things and playing Peninsula basketball. Um, and and that's why we want to play top competition just to see where we are. And the Bay League is always competitive. You know, we have Redondo, um, Miracosta, PV is a great rivalry. So there's never a night off, really. So if you play tough competition in the beginning of the year, it's just going to help you later on. So, J.D., tell me um, how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. Oh, I've been playing since, like, six years old. And this just came easy to me. Like, it's always been fun. So, yeah. Friends play it or family members? Like, what kind of got you into it, do you think? My dad used to play. And... He really wanted me to play, so. Just... What's been the most fun about playing with the team here at Peninsula? Because you've been here for a while. Uh, just that we're all friends, and then like we have great chemistry, and so we play well together. And the season's kind of new, but how's it been going so far? Oh, uh, season been going good. We're on a winning streak right now. Um, we got, we we got some couple good wins this year, okay. so. How many free throws do you practice every day? How many do you shoot? Ah, uh, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing ever since I know, since I was born. So pretty long. Uh, I used to play baseball freshman year, but then I just stuck to basketball. I just liked it better. What do you think you liked better about it? Uh, it's just a little faster. The pace is a little better, more, more active. I enjoyed that. It's, it's fun too. Yeah. And because you've been playing for a while, I, I mean, the, the team chemistry must be kind of amazing. Talk about that. Yeah, so we're all from this city. Like other schools, they have kids from all over, but it's a local school, so, and the team's all local. So we've known all each other for like a really long time, so that helps a lot with the chemistry. Do you guys hang out together away from basketball too? Yeah, we usually get like lunch or like dinner after practice a lot of times. Okay. Is it difficult to kind of um, balance the basketball time with the school time? or? Uh, it's, 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 it's fine. Uh, this, uh, 
it's usually fine. Yeah, I found a pretty good way to balance it through all, all the time. Yeah, all the other stuff. What is the messages that the coaches want you guys to always remember, when, especially during a practice? Uh, keep the energy up. Sometimes we play with low energy, and if we keep the energy up, we'll probably be pretty good. And you, there's a lot of seniors on this team, which is a good thing. That's not usual. Yeah, it's not. Uh, we've all been here since freshman year together, so that really helped a lot with the chemistry this year. This could be a pretty good year, I think. Well, I've been playing basketball maybe since I was like five or six, and I chose it because my dad is the only sport he knows, so something for him to coach me at. You know, interesting, you guys have been all playing so very long. It, does this come second nature to you? Um, after a while it has, yeah. It's basically you just get in the routine of doing everything and it becomes like second nature. What kind of, when you're, when the, when the coach is kind of coaching you guys up to do certain things, how do you sort of like translate that so that your, your mind already knows to do something, but he wants you to get to do something else. How do you sort of combine the two? Um, it's just kind of like experience, you know, just things you've learned in the past, combining with what he wants you to do now to make whatever works best. And you guys have a lot of seniors on your team, which is good for chemistry and continuity. Talk about Yeah, a lot of us are like actually really good friends off the court. We hang out like every day, go to each other's houses a lot, so that really helps. Okay. And do you find it difficult or have you got it down to kind of um, like mix your basketball time with your schoolwork time? Um, it was difficult, but... I think it's got manageable now, so we can have, we have a really good balance. Okay, and then tell me, how many free throws do you practice every day? Maybe around 50 in practice, yeah, about 50 a day. I've been playing basketball ever since probably like first grade. I like grew up playing with all these guys. Um, and then I, I chose basketball just because it's like, it's pretty fast paced and I love to just like bang around. You, know, you guys have been playing so long, it, which is amazing for chemistry. Um, talk about that part first. Um, so yeah, it, it all kind of started with PVBA. Like we went to different elementary schools, but that's kind of how we got to know each other. And then middle school, like a lot of us went to to Ridgecrest, and then I grew up with Jordan playing club with him. So when he came up here and he transferred, I think sophomore year it was nice because he was able to come into our friend group pretty quick and like on the court best friends, off the court we're best friends. So it's, it's a lot of fun. You know, it's obvious the coach wants you to learn certain plays and certain strategies. Because you've been playing for so long, how do you sort of translate that to, to get the new stuff in? Yeah, it's a lot of, like, I mean, memorizing plays, but it's also a lot of instinct, too. you got to kind of read it, you know. Even if you're going to run a play, the defense isn't always going to play it the same way. Right. So you just got to adapt. Okay. And what is the message that the coach always wants you guys to remember? Play hard, control what you can control. You know, you're not always going to hit your shots, but if you can play defense, and, and rebound and just do the little hustle things, we're gonna be all right. Okay. And then, um, is it? do you find it difficult to sort of mix the basketball time with the schoolwork time, or have you just got that down now? Uh, by like senior year, you kind of get a hang of it, and then, uh, yeah, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, all right, and then um, how many free throws do you shoot a day? A day? Yeah. It depends, like, if, if I don't shoot free throws well in the game before, I'll probably say after practice and, and try to get up at least like 30 or 40. Um, it just depends. Uh, I started playing when I was five up at Bogdanovich and Pedro and I played because my best friend played at the time so I wanted to hang out with him and it worked out. So. What do you think it was about the game that made you stick with it? Uh, I loved how fast paced and like physical it was and then I don't know I just had a knack for shooting so I stayed. And because you guys have been um, friends for so long and you play together for so long just talk about that chemistry and kind of being able to read each other's minds when you're out there. I mean it's so much fun playing with these guys and we've had three years together so I don't know, it's a lot of fun and we've gotten to know each other pretty well and how we play, so it makes it easier. For you, um, because you've been doing this a long time, do you, is it manageable to do the schoolwork and the basketball time or is that still kind of? Yeah, I mean, after three years, you kind of get like the hang of it and like, I don't know, I've learned how to car car compartmentalize pretty well, so okay. yeah. All right, and then um, what's the message the coaches want you guys to always remember? Uh, just play hard and play together because team basketball is what wins games and that's what wins us games. So. Okay, and then how many free throws do you shoot a day? I try to get up like a couple before practice, but usually I'm working on like moving around shots, not really free throws. I've been playing basketball since I was five and uh, my, brother, my older brother and I would always go outside and just play it on the court. So yeah, it's been with me my whole life. Did you ever try any other sports? Or? Um, I tried baseball and soccer, but... I didn't really like them, so yeah, I just what, stuck with basketball. What do you think it was about basketball that made you stay with it? Um, just to 
just the togetherness of everybody on the court and like, being able to support from the bench easily and just everyone coming together. This seems like such a close-knit team. Do you guys hang out together away from basketball as well? Yeah, uh, we hang out a lot. We eat sometimes together, uh, go watch uh, like other teams play sometimes. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then what's the message that the coaches want you guys to remember? Um, the coaches just want us to remember that uh, effort can get you anywhere and effort wins games and just can take you anywhere in life with effort. Very true. And because you've been doing this for a while, is it difficult to balance the school time and the basketball time, or have you kind of got that down now? Um, by your senior year, you learn how to get that stuff down. Freshman year is kind of hard. It's new, so yeah, it gets easier over the years. Okay, then tell me, um, how many free throws do you shoot every day? Um, I like shooting free throws. So if I have free time, it's just kind of relaxing because you're just by yourself shooting outside or in a gym. So. Whenever I just have free time. So I've been playing basketball for about maybe 12 years, okay. 11 years. I think I chose this sport because um, one, my dad played this in high school, and um, you know it's just a really fun sport because I started at a young age, and it's been really fun. And I just it's a great way to fellowship and uh, you know hang around with others while you know getting exercise and you know having fun. Did, did you ever try any other sports? I have, as a young, at a young age, I played soccer and volleyball. But over time, you know, my passion for those sports kind of dwindled. Um, obviously, I quit, and there are regrets, and there were some regrets in quitting those sports. But, but I always found basketball to be a sport that I've enjoyed for a long time. Okay, yeah. and um, tell me what the message the coaches kind of want you guys to remember. I think the universal message for um, from the coaches just. Just to give it 100 percent, and you know, always maintain a um, just an attitude where a mindset just to improve. Because just you know, as long as we're going 100 percent and we're realizing you know what we're doing wrong and focusing on how to correct those mistakes, I think that's what the coaches want out of us. Because you've been playing for so long, what do you do to get a little better in between seasons? I think the I mean, first thing is you know identifying what what's lacking or what's missing and you know just trying to find ways to improve um, whether it be individual or team just if there's something the team is lacking or something that you're lacking or something that needs to improve you know you'd work on that and say yeah. All right and then um, how many free throws do you shoot every day? Um, average? Average? Maybe like five if we're toying for like average because there are some days do practices I shoot a lot and then some days where you know I don't really shoot that many free throws. So. I started playing basketball my freshman year of high school and I started playing it because I mean just well my older brother he played college basketball and my second oldest brother he also played a college sport soccer so I was like I felt it was my obligation I needed to play a sport in high school you know. Did you try any other sports or? Um, well, initially I started with basketball, okay. and then like during sophomore year I shot out football as well. Okay. And did you like? Did do you prefer one over the other, or did you really just get something from both sports? I definitely got a lot out of both sports. Okay. All right. Um, tell me the messages that the coaches want you guys to remember. Play hard for all 32 minutes of the game, including overtime, and just. Everything will work itself out from there. Okay. And because you're very athletic and you play different sports, how do you sort of balance the school time with the basketball time? It's definitely very challenging. Um, like time management is of the essence. So knowing, like really knowing how much time certain things take, and knowing, like planning ahead as well, right. is very useful. How many free throws would you say on an average you shoot a day? Uh. Like tw 25 ish around there. Uh, I've been playing since I was like four. I've been I played t-ball first, but I didn't like I don't like anything else but basketball. Why would you say that? What was it about basketball that you liked the most? Uh, it, it just drew, it just drew me. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then what grade are you in now? I'm a junior. Okay. Um, tell me the messages that the coaches want you guys to remember when you're out there. Uh, work hard and play hard and stay as a team. And you guys 
seem like a very close-knit group away from basketball. Talk about the stuff you do away from the game. Uh, we like to hang out with each other. We go to dinner with each other sometimes. Yeah. Is it difficult to balance basketball time with school time? Uh, not as much as when I first started, because now I usually have like a schedule. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, how many free throws do you shoot a day? Uh, I usually try and get up as much as possible. So give me an average. Probably about like 40 to 50. Uh, I started playing basketball around like four, and I chose basketball because when I just shot my first shot, like I really loved the game of basketball, and I just that's what I played. Did you ever try any other sports? Yeah, I tried uh, soccer and baseball. I was actually pretty good at baseball, but I just didn't like the outdoor, and I just like basketball better. Okay. And then what position do you play? I play a uh, point guard. Have you pretty much tried every position, or? Um, I tried like the big positions as a like as a joke, <laughs> but I usually play like point guard and the shooting guard. Okay. And then, um, what are the expectations for this team this year? Uh, I have really high expectations for this team. Uh, I think we could do good if as long as we just like play hard every game. What's the coach's message to you guys? Coach's message is every game play hard and have fun. Uh, compete every night. Because you've been playing for so long, what do you sort of do in the off season to get better? Um, I just work on all my weaknesses. Like I, like finishing could be a weakness, so I uh, like try to work on that. And then shooting, I, I always can always improve on that. And ball handling. Is it difficult to sort of balance like basketball time with school time, or have you kind of got that down? Uh, at the beginning of the season, it was kind of difficult because like. I was like always tired afterwards, but then I realized as as I went along, it was kind of getting easier, and I wasn't le I was less tired, and I was able to uh, do it. Okay, and then um, how many free throws do you shoot every day? I try to shoot around like 20, 25 free throws. Uh, I've been playing since I was probably six years old, and my dad my dad just told me to go out there, and he just basically picked a bunch of sports for me to play and see which one I liked. Did you try a bunch of sports? Or? Yeah, football, soccer, baseball, and basketball, yeah. Did you continue to play all of them or just this one? Yeah, I continued all of them throughout uh, until eighth grade, and then that's when I chose basketball. Okay. What do you think it was about this sport that made you focus in on it? Uh, I was best at it, okay. and yeah, I really enjoyed playing. Okay. What position are you playing? Uh, I'm a guard. Tell me the message that the coaches want you guys to remember. Uh, just to put our uh, effort, all of our effort onto the floor, like hustle, die for loose balls, and just have fun. Okay. Um, is it difficult to sort of balance the sports time with the basketball time, or you sort of have that down now? Uh, I've been playing for a while. I pretty much have it down, yeah. Okay. And how many free throws do you shoot every day? Uh, probably like 20 a day. So tell me how long you've been playing basketball, why you chose it. Since I was five years old, um, my, par my parents and my uncle, they've been really into basketball, big Laker fans. Uh, they just told me to go out there and um, try a bunch of other sports, but um, basketball has really been my passion. What do you think it was about basketball that made you stick with it? Um, basketball is just always just the continuous of running and just the hard work. Um, I really liked um, just, yeah, just diving, just uh, playing hard for the ball, um, loose balls, and just, um, it was just really fun, and um, yeah, just something I was passionate for. Okay. It's interesting, because you've been playing for so long, what do you sort of work on in the off season to get a little better? Um, a lot of shooting, definitely, because um, coming into Peninsula Basketball, um, my position right now is shooting guard, so I really just wanted to get my shot, in, uh, shot on, and um, right now, also, um, I've been working on a lot of defense, and um, I think that's what uh, coaches are looking for, just the hustle, just uh, getting up and down the court. I was, I was just going to ask you what the coaches, what their messages kind of are, but you kind of said that. <laughs> yeah, so um, I talked to them, they just said, uh, find your role, and I think that um, right now, defense really um, what they're, they are looking for. Uh, just diving, taking charge, stepping up, um, just like, lock up defense. And this seems like a very tight-knit group. You hang out in addition to basketball? Or? 
Yeah, um, I really like our guys. Uh, we're all uh, there for each other. Um, we love each other. Uh, we always goof around with, with all of us. Um, yeah, they're just so fun to be around. Very nice. Yeah. All right, and then um, how many free throws do you shoot every day? Uh, I'd say probably like 20, 25, around there. I've been playing basketball since like second grade. Uh, I chose it just because I kind of fell in love with it. Uh, right when I first kind of touched the basketball, it took me a little while to get used to, but it's, it's the most, it's, uh, I've had the most fun playing that sport. Did you ever play any other sports or just this one? Uh, I've, I played every single, single type of sport you could think of, or at least the major ones, soccer, baseball, basketball, football, I played all of them. My dad played football in college. My mom played the gymnastics up until high school. Uh, yeah, I kind of still dabble in other sports right now, but right now it's more focused on basketball. Okay, and because you've been playing basketball for so long, what do you sort of do in the off season to get a little better? Um, I, I just play, just play as much as I can, just work on all my skills. That's pretty much what I do during the off season. Is it difficult to sort of balance school time with basketball time, or do you sort of have that down? Um, well, this season has kind of been a little bit of an adjustment, of an adjustment, but I've gotten used to it. And what's the messages that the coaches always want you guys to remember? Just always play hard. It doesn't matter if you mess up on defense or mess up on offense. You could always make it, make up for it. That's basically, that's basically what they always preach. Okay. And how many free throws do you think you shoot a day? That I shoot a day, like 20, I'd say about 20. I've been playing basketball for about six, seven years. <laughs> and I chose it because one of my best friends told me to try it, so I tried. Did you ever try any other sports or just this one? Yeah, I played soccer because I'm from Europe, so yeah. everybody plays everybody. soccer. <laughs> You're supposed to, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And do you still play that or just focus on basketball? I just focus on basketball. Okay. What's the message that the coaches try to get you guys to remember? Uh, he always tells, they always tell us to uh, play hard and play defense, and offense will always come, so always hustle for loose balls and such. Seems like this is a very tight-knit group. What do you guys do away from basketball? Um, we always hang out. Like, we always go get food. We always, we always call each other. So, yeah. That's nice. mm -hmm. Okay, and is it difficult to sort of balance basketball time with school time, or do you have that figured out? Um, it was really difficult my first two years, but now I'm used to it. Yeah. You got it down. Yeah. Okay. And how many free throws do you shoot every day? Do you think? Um, I often go practice after school basketball practice, so probably like a hundred. Tell me how long you've been playing basketball. Why you chose it for your sport? I've played basketball since kindergarten or first grade. Uh, one of my neighbors used to come home from school, he was in high school when I was in kindergarten, and he always used to shoot some shots with me and teach me some new types of things. And then I used to play with my dad a bunch, that's kind of why I fell in love with it. Did you ever play any other sports? I mean, I tried soccer, but I was really bad at it. Um, that's about it. What do you think it was about this sport that made you stick with it? I don't know, I've always just been really passionate about basketball, and it's something that I always used to play with my parents. I used to play with my sister and my cousins too, and just a uh, way to connect with my family. Okay. Um, because you have school time and basketball time, is it difficult to kind of balance the two or you sort of get that down after a while? Uh, in the beginning it was kind of hard, but as I've played basketball for more years, it's been easier to balance the schedule. Okay. And what's the message that the coaches want you guys to remember? We need to play as a team and before we shoot a lot of outside shots, we need to get it in to build our confidence because it's not always going to work from the outside. So we just play as a team, and it'll work out. Yeah. Do you find that when you guys have really good practices, you actually play better in the game? Yeah. Bef the way you practice is the way that you'll turn out playing. That's what I think. Okay. And then um, how many free throws do you shoot a day? I try to get up a bunch before practice. That's what I start on. I don't shoot any threes before practice. I just focus on free throws. Okay. And then as many free throws as we shoot during practice. That's usually as many as I get up. As you know, there is a lot of competition when it comes to playing on the hardwood here in Southern California. So I had to ask the guys, are the Lakers and Clippers contenders or pretenders? Here's what they had to say. Lakers, are they pretenders or contenders? They are contenders. And Clippers, are they contenders or pretenders? 
No, they are also contenders. Lakers, are they contenders or pretenders? They're definitely contenders. Okay. Yeah. What about the Clippers, contender or pretender? Clippers are contenders too. They're looking pretty good, I think. Okay. Yeah. Lakers, are they pretenders or contenders? Definitely contenders. They're going to win it all. Okay. How about Clippers? Are they pretenders or contenders? They're not making it past the second round. Lakers, are they contenders or pretenders? Um, I mean, personally, I'm a Clippers fan, but the Lakers, they're, they're doing better than I expected them to do. I thought LeBron was going to flop for two years in a row, but, you know, they're, they're definitely contending for a championship. And then are the Clippers, I think, you know, I know the answer to this, are they contenders or pretenders? Uh, they're contending, for sure. Are the Lakers contenders or pretenders? We're contenders. We're going to win the league this year. Like, it's pretty undisputed. We're the best team in the league. Clippers, are they pretenders or contenders? Absolutely pretenders. They have no shot. They're going out in the first round. Okay. All right, um, Lakers, contenders or pretenders? Contenders all the way. <laughs> How about the Clippers, contender or pretender? Pretenders, they should move out of Staples Center as soon as they can. Lakers, are they contenders or pretenders? I think they're contenders. Um, right, n right now they're doing well in the West. What about the Clippers, contender or pretender? I think they're both they're contenders too. And the Lakers are the Lakers contenders or pretenders? Contend contenders. The Lakers are contenders. Okay. And the, what about the Clippers? Contenders or pretenders? Pretenders. Are the Lakers contenders or pretenders? Uh, contenders. Okay. Are the Clippers contenders or pretenders? Pretenders. <laughs> and are the Lakers contenders or pretenders? Lakers are definitely contenders. And are the Clippers contenders or pretenders? Clippers are contenders, but Lakers are going to beat them. Are the Lakers contenders or pretenders? Uh, contenders. And are the Clippers contenders or pretenders? Uh, it's tough, but I'd say they're contenders. I think I already know the answer to this question, but are the Lakers contenders or pretenders? Um, I believe they're contenders, yeah. What about the Los Angeles Clippers? Contender or pretender? Clippers? I say they're contenders, but uh, I feel like Lakers got them got them up. But I'm more of a Dose fan. And um, the Lakers, are the Lakers contenders or pretenders? Contenders, definitely. There's no faking AD in the band. Okay, and then the Los Angeles Clippers, are they contenders or pretenders? I'd say they're also contenders, but I'm not sure they're at that same level. Are the Los Angeles Lakers contenders or pretenders? They're contenders. They're definitely getting the. They're definitely getting the title. And then, are the Los Angeles Clippers contenders or pretenders? Absolutely not. I do not trust they will even go to playoffs. I do not like that team. Lakers, are they contenders or pretenders? Contenders for sure. They're the best team in the league. And That's what I believe. Okay. And what about the Clippers? I think that they're contenders, but they're nowhere as good as the Lakers. I had to ask everybody this, so I'm going to ask you as well. Are the Los Angeles Lakers contenders or pretenders? To be honest, I can only base it off what I hear. I haven't watched one minute of the NBA this year. But from what I hear, the, the combo of AD and LeBron, they've been playing really well together. And what are they, 20-something and four? Something like that? So i got to say contender. What about the Los Angeles Clippers, contender or pretender? If they stay away from load management, which is a bunch of, I don't want to say it, but uh, they're contenders too. And that will do it for today's show. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Maria Sorreo, and we'll see you next time on Playing the Field Local Edition.